Alrighty, what is up guys? It is Buzzer here today. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic and congratulations guys. We've all made it into 2019. What a year that we have ahead of us. We've got a whole 365 days of videos grinding and absolutely amazing content on the channel. I'm making it my goal to improve in every way and give you guys better content, more content, different types of stuff. It's going to be coming and I promise you this year is going to be absolutely fantastic. But welcome to the video today where we are going to be ranking all of the Battle Pass Tier 1 skins from worst to best. It's pretty self-explanatory. Tier 1 skins, the first thing you unlock, usually, hey, they're not as good as the other Battle Pass skins, but we're going to be putting them all head to head and we're going to see how they compare against each other. But anyway, guys, make sure you go ahead and drop a like in the video. I'd really, really appreciate it. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And uh, hey, after you've watched this video, let me know your favorite Tier 1 skin down below in the comments. But anyway, guys, if you'd like to support me for free, make sure you go ahead and use supporter creator code BAZA. We have like 700 people supporting me right now. I appreciate all you guys so, so much. And hey, even if you're not supporting me, just make sure you're supporting someone so that, you know, you're helping someone out. It's all for a good cause. But anyway, guys, let's get straight into the list here. Starting off with the one and only mission specialist, which honestly, I have a grudge about. I have hated this skin ever since the, the start of time. Since this, this, since this skin was released, I've just hated it. Absolutely disgust. Like, I, I don't want to see it ever, okay? If I see this in a lobby, like, I instantly... I, I hate you, okay? And I want to kill you. I will make it my mission to kill you if I see you in-game, okay? Over any other player, I'll do whatever it takes. I, I just hate this skin, guys. That's really all there is to say. I've got nothing good to say about it. It's ugly. It's orange. Not a fan of orange either. Obviously, that's just my opinion, but... Hey, I, I just cannot stand this skin, guys, and it is definitely and easily the worst tier 1 skin, in my opinion, out of all the battle passes. So, yeah, moving on, guys, to the next one here. We have the man himself, the Battle Hawk. Okay, so the Battle Hawk is from the Season 4 Battle Pass, and I believe this was the first Battle Pass where we actually got multiple tier 1 skins, but yeah... Battlehawk, definitely one of the worst skins in my opinion, like, it, he's worse in a different way though, like, he's aesthetically, you know, he's not actually, like, a bad looking skin, it's just really boring and bland, and there's nothing really amazing going on with him, nothing really unique or special about him, and for that reason, he just is plain out boring, and just a skin I really don't want to use, if I've been completely honest with you, there's a lot of different skins, and, you know, 99.9% .9 of them are going to be better than the Battlehawk here, so, that is why we have him for this next spot here on the list when it comes to tier one battle pass skins but moving on guys to the next one here we're getting a little bit better on the list just slightly okay not too much better but next up guys we have the dj yonder so dj yonder obviously uh from actually you know what it's not obvious because i don't even know myself i think he's season six i believe uh and yeah the the dj yonder he's a meme skin okay he's a troll skin he's definitely a newbie skin i don't think i've ever actually seen a good dj yonder like they're always the biggest bots okay definitely uh definitely not a skin that i'll be too scared to get in the battle with when it comes to fortnite uh, but yeah, most of the time, as I said, he's a bot, and look, I just don't like the skin. I get, you know, it's a cool concept having like a llama on the head and whatnot, but I don't know, I just don't like the colors, the, the lights, it seems tacky, it seems like it's like something you'd buy from a $2 shop, um, and yeah, n nothing I want to be running around with uh, inside of Fortnite. So yeah, moving on guys, to the next one here, we have the Carbide skin, so this is the other Season 4 skin that uh, actually came with the Battlehawk. Uh, at the start of the Season 4 Battle Pass. And yeah, the Carbide, he's okay. He's your average skin. He's nothing too bad. Not my favorite personally. I'm not a fan of the blue. But hey, it's pretty cool that you can customize his armor and his light colors. So overall, not too bad. Definitely better than all the other ones we've had on the list so far. So yeah, that is the Carbide, guys. Moving on to the next one here, guys. Uh, we have a really recent one here. Okay, now this is, you know, quite a new one. And this is the Zenith or the Zenith uh, from the Season 7 Battle Pass, the current Battle Pass. And yeah, this guy's okay. He's nothing too bad. Uh, you know, once again, he's another skin that has, you know, upgradable features customizable variants and all that colors and whatnot you know styles which is a very very good thing and that does give him some bonus points but I don't know I'm just not the biggest fan of him like he's okay he obviously transforms into into like a sort of snow dude he gets like a big coat he gets sort of like claws looking so looking like some type of wolf honestly it gives me the dire sort of vibes from the season six battle pass 
Um, but yeah, I don't know. He's nothing too special, but once again, nothing too bad. And, you know, I wouldn't hate to use this skin at all. But anyway, guys, moving on from the Zenith, we have a Season 5 skin here, and this is the Huntress. So the Huntress is obviously like a Viking here, which is very cool because in, you know, Season 5, we saw a few different Viking themed skins. And honestly, I don't mind this skin at all. I think she's probably a tad underrated, okay? Just a little bit. Just a little bit underrated. I barely ever used her, and honestly... I don't know why, because she isn't that bad, uh, but not that great at the same time. But yeah, quite a chill skin, nothing too bad, nothing too out there, just, just your average tier 1 skin. Nothing really bad or good to say about her, but yeah guys, moving on from the Huntress. Uh, what is this, like our, our fourth skin now, alright, so we got like four more guys. We're definitely getting up here on the list, so these next four are definitely your top tier tier 1 skins, okay? Like, these are top of the line tier 1 skins. Absolutely amazing skins. And, you know, if you were to tell me these were tier 1 skins, I probably wouldn't believe, you know, if I, if I was to not know, obviously. Uh, but yeah, moving on guys, to the next one here. We have the absolutely and amazing Drift. Okay, so the Drift was one of the first tier 1 skins with upgradable styles. I believe he was the first one. And, yeah, his upgradable styles are absolutely amazing. He transforms from just like a normal dude uh, into a really really cool guy with amazing like looking robe sort of cape thing he gets lights and he overall just looks really really amazing he comes with a really cool pickaxe and you would get this in season five i believe if it was like a quarter of a million xp like 250,000, i believe and yeah i really like the drift uh he was used for quite a long time you don't see him too much now but he was a very popular uh battle pass skin for quite some time so moving on guys to the next one here, we have the one and only Blue Squire. So not too many of you guys rocking this skin in nowadays. I mean, obviously there isn't too many people that have this guy. But yeah, the Blue Squire is the very first Battle Pass Tier 1 skin to ever be released. He's quite an OG. He's been around for quite a while. Now, I used to hate this skin, to be honest with you guys. I... Don't know why. He's still not my favorite skin, I'll be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, he's definitely grown on me a lot, and I don't mind him nowadays. He's he I, he's definitely up there when it comes to tier 1 skins for the battle passes, and that is why we have him in the third spot here. Very, very nice looking skin. Obviously, comes with a, uh, a squire shield or royal shield. Now, keep that in mind. There's no other uh, battle pass tier 1 skins that come with a back bling. I hope, okay? I say that now, but I'm slightly... Are uh, concerned with that accusation now. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure he's the only tier 1 skin that comes with the back bling. I may be wrong. Uh, but yeah, Blue Squire, absolutely amazing skin from Season 2, guys. Moving on to the next one, guys, to this number 2 spot. It really doesn't get much better here. We're at the top of these skins here, okay? These next two skins are like not just the best tier 1 skins, but they're definitely up there for best battle pass skins in general, guys. And for the number 2 spot here, we have the one, the only, absolutely amazing calamity skin here from the season 5 battle pass guys i don't even know where to start calamity is absolutely insane i love her so so much very very nice skin um she's been around for, you know a little while now a little while and yeah she really is just fantastic okay fantastic here her upgradable styles are just amazing she gets a really really cool sort of western sort of cowgirl look it looks amazing the color styles the smoky sort of pattern that comes off her just looks amazing and she also does come with a pickaxe which is pretty cool she's got some really really good skin combos and overall the calamity is definitely a skin i'd still use to this day and yeah absolutely love her guys but moving on to the next one, guys, we have the one and only Lynx, guys, okay? Honestly, if you weren't expecting this to be in the number one spot, I don't even know what to say to you because this skin is just absolutely fantastic. Nothing comes close to her. Uh, her upgradable styles are just amazing, okay? The colors are phenomenal. You got the red, the blue, the black, the rainbow. Like, that's, that's never seen, okay? We've never seen a skin with color-changing styles like the Lynx. I mean, we have seen a few, but honestly, nowhere near to the level of the Lynx here. She's absolutely fantastic. She's everything you could have asked for. The colors are just amazing. I love it so, so much, guys. Absolutely phenomenal skin. But yeah, guys, that is it for all tier one skins ranked worst to best i hope you guys did enjoy let me know your opinions down below let me know your lists down below let me know your favorite tier one skins down below i want to hear it all guys but yeah hope you guys have been having an absolutely great 2019 
so far. Uh, it's going to be a great year, as I said. I'm going to be having a Q&A video coming out soon, so I do look forward to doing that. And yeah, guys, if you want to support me, or you're going to buy any of these skins, or, I mean, they're Battle Pass skins, so you can't really buy them. But yeah, if you want to support me, use code BAZA. I'd appreciate it, guys. And yeah, that is basically it for the video. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. My name has been BAZA. I'll see you all in the next video, and bye-bye.